What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Riverdale video if you're new. Now, this is going to be the review and recap for Riverdale Season 5, Episode 3. If you're a fan of Riverdale, if you love Riverdale, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Riverdale, you get them. Now, this episode is called Chapter 79, Graduation. The description for this episode reads, with graduation day around the corner, the gang consider their next steps beyond Riverdale High. Archie learns whether he will be able to graduate with his classmates. FP makes a difficult decision about his and Jelly Bean's future. Now this episode, I thought it was good, man. We finally seen the gang graduate. They're gonna be moving on with their lives. And after this episode, there's gonna be a seven year time jump. That's crazy, man. That is crazy because we're used to the characters in Riverdale. We're used to their lives in Riverdale. And I don't know how it's gonna be after this. But I'll give this episode an 8 out of 10. I think it was definitely worth the watch. And I cannot wait to talk about it with you guys. Now, when this episode first starts, we see Jughead and Betty comes in the room. He's looking at all the masks that Jelly Bean and her friends were using. And he feels like it's his fault. He feels like everything she was doing is his fault. He thinks that if he would have never thought about leaving, if he would have just been there for her, this would have never happened. Now, next we see FP talking to Alice and they're wondering where the kids are hiding. You know, Jelly Bean and her friends and stuff. And they get a tip about the kids being in Archie's old boxing gym. And that's where they were the whole time they were hiding. They were sleeping in there with sleeping bags and stuff. Then we see Jughead laying with Betty. And I just know these two aren't going to be together in the future. I really like them together right now because we know that time jump is coming. And this show has been teasing Betty and Archie for so long, so that's probably what's gonna happen. But next we see Archie, he's dreaming about his dad and his mom being there for his graduation. And it's sad because Archie wakes up and obviously his dad's not there, so it's just a sad situation. Next we see Hiram and Hermione, and they're giving her her gifts for graduation. Um, it's like some pearls and stuff but I don't think she really wants to wear it if it's coming from Hiram. Then next we get to the class and they're opening a box, a time capsule that had all types of stuff from years and years ago. It had all kinds of things that past Riverdale students put in there. It had a copy of the register, the blue and gold, like all the old copies of this stuff. Next we see everybody and they're sitting in the lounge and they're looking at the yearbooks and stuff. They have a whole bunch of stuff in there you know, they have all kinds of clubs. They even dedicated a page to the serpents. But we hear that Jughead and Archie get called to the office. Jughead, they tell him that, you know, he's graduating, everything's good. He's going on with his life. But when Archie gets called in there, he finds out that he's gonna have to repeat his senior year. So after this, Archie goes into the hallway and he looks at a picture of some people that went to the military a long time ago and he's thinking about joining. Then we see Veronica go to Archie's door and she says, look, I don't care what happened between us in the past. All I know is I wanna be with you right now, right this second, that's all I care about. And she drops her stuff, she goes inside and they sleep together. You know, it shows them in the bed talking about everything, their future and everything. Then we get to Tony and her Nana is there for her at her locker and she's just proud of her saying that, you know, she's proud that she's graduating and everything. We see Cheryl come around the corner, but she doesn't go up to Tony because she knows that Tony's Nana doesn't like her. Now, next we see Mr. Weatherby and he calls up the class's valedictorian and that's Betty Cooper. She goes up there, she makes a speech of hers, and I think it's a pretty damn good speech. There's just something about Betty, man. I've already said this to you guys many times. She is just so beautiful. But she gives a speech about how they came this far. She says there was a lot of students that weren't able to make it this far due to them getting killed or something. She says there's a lot of parents that weren't able to come and see their kids graduate. And it's just been a long journey. And she just gives a beautiful speech. It was a great last speech from the class's valedictorian. She did a great job. 
we see everybody in the audience you know we see jughead alice everybody they're just so happy that betty gave that amazing speech and then we see the whole class go up there and they graduate they get their diplomas we see veronica tony kevin jughead reggie we see all these people go up there and graduate and of course we see cheryl betty all of them are graduating it's such a great moment and we also see archie up there he's in his gown too but he's not graduating he's just there for his classmates to show support to them nobody knows that he's not graduating though then he looks out in the crowd and he sees four kids in army uniforms and he's really thinking about joining now next after the graduation we see cheryl's mom talking to her and she's saying that she's proud of her and that she's gonna turn herself in for everything that she's done and if you guys remember that's a lot like she did a lot to all the kids in riverdale i mean in season three she was part of the plan with the gargoyle king to hunt them down and stuff like she has done a lot of dirt then we see jughead and his dad fp and you know his dad's telling him that he's going back to toledo with jelly bean he just feels like that's right for him to go back there so this is where fp will be going because i heard he was going off the show a while ago so skeet ulrich will not be on the show anymore he's going back to toledo in the show but we won't see any appearances from him anymore unless he decides to come back in the future but it's sad because he's been there since the beginning what's funny is he said he's going back to toledo ohio right and i'm from toledo that's crazy we see fp talking to alice and she doesn't want him to go but she understands why he's doing it she says are you sure this is the right decision and he says that it's what he has to do then we see archie talking to the army people and they said look if you want to sign up this is not a decision to take lightly and archie says i understand this is what i want to do now we see veronica go to talk to pop and she says that she's going to be handing over her share of the business and she wants pop to have all of it i mean he did own it from the very beginning it was his place so it's not like it's going to be something different but it's just sad because everybody's moving on then we see the class they're burying their own time capsule and they're all putting something of their own in it we see that betty she's putting a copy of the blue and gold uh, veronica's putting a menu of pops they're all putting in something different I don't remember exactly what everybody was putting in, but they were all taking turns putting in their own thing. That way they can come back years and years down the line and they can see if it's still there. I think that would be cool to do something like that, man. That's one thing I never got a chance to do in high school, but I think that's cool that they're doing that. Now we see Archie, Jughead, Veronica, and Betty, and they're just vibing, man. They just graduated, they're drinking, they're vibing and talking and Archie says that he has to tell everybody something so he says that he's going to the army he says it's kind of like his original plan anyways like with the naval academy and Veronica is like look hardly like this is not the same thing and she is upset she said she's not having it and she does not support this lunacy next we see Cheryl and Tony and they basically just talk about how they're not going to be together anymore that's basically what this conversation is about then we see betty and jughead is just talking to her and you can tell she feels bad so she stops him and cuts him off from what he's saying and she says that her and archie kissed she says it just happened and she should have told him and she's so so sorry that she loves him now of course jughead looks hurt at first i mean look at his face he has that hurt look all over his face and who wouldn't be hurt about that but then he says it's okay i love you you know they start kissing and i guess they slept together and then the next day we see jughead he's waking up and he says to betty that he has to go but when he gets back later they should talk about them now we see betty go to talk to veronica about the kiss but she already knew about it obviously and she says she's not mad at her she said she can't be mad not right now she said she has too much other stuff going on and she said she actually understands now veronica says that she wishes she would have said bye to archie for the last time she said she regrets how her and archie talked for the last time and betty said it might not be too late so we see archie and jughead sitting at the bus stop and they're talking 
Archie said that he has to tell Jughead something. So he's getting ready to tell Jughead that him and Betty kissed. Jughead said, look, I already know. You don't even have to tell me. And he said, you're not mad. Jughead's like, nope, I'm not mad. Look, no matter what, you're gonna be my brother. So this was a nice little bonding moment between Archie and Jughead. Now Archie's on the bus for the army. It says US Army on the bus. And he's looking at some old picture of him and his dad. He's just missing his dad, man. And then he sees a car pull up next to the bus and it's Veronica, Betty, and Jughead. His best friends, you know, they're driving to catch him for the last time before he leaves for seven years. You know, he's gonna be gone for a long time. They're waving and everything, you know, they're smiling and it was just a good moment. Veronica blows a kiss at him and everything and they're just all waving at your boy Archie. Archie goes up to the bus driver and asks if he can stop the bus. So the bus driver agrees to stop the bus and he gets out, he talks to them. They said they're gonna miss him so much. You know, everybody hugs him. He gets a hug from Betty, Jughead and all them. And they said they'll see him in a year because they're gonna be meeting at Pops. Every year they agreed to meet at Pops. But we see Archie hug and kiss Veronica and this is the last goodbye. And then he looks at him, he gets on the bus. We see them just standing there. They're watching Archie as he drives away. Archie goes back to the back of the bus and he just puts his hand on the window. He can't believe this is the last time he's gonna see his friends. This was such a sad moment, but I gotta say that the song selection for this scene was so on point. They played the perfect song for this scene, like no other song could have been used. Now, when Archie left, things started to get different. You know, we see Jughead and Betty and Veronica, they're at Pops in a booth. And not long after that, Veronica left. So then it was just Jughead and Betty and things started to change between them. They started to talk less, you know, it was starting to be less intimate and stuff like that. And then we see Betty leave with her mom. So then it's only Jughead left in Riverdale. He ends up moving and I think it was Archie's house because he didn't feel right to live in Betty's house when she was gone. And after a while, the electricity got cut off because he wasn't paying it. You know, he was using candles and stuff. And then he moved to a place that was all too familiar, the bunker. And then after a while, you know, that didn't work. And then we seen him go to Pops like everybody said they were gonna do. It said like a year later or something like that. And it's just Jughead and Pop comes up to the table. He's talking to Jughead and Pop says maybe they're busy or something. And you know, Jughead is like, yeah, that's probably it. And then Jughead decides to leave. He's just looking around and that's it. Then he leaves and that's the end of the episode. And the next episode is gonna be the time jump. And I'm so excited for this one. I can't wait to see the time jump. It's gonna be so interesting, man. I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen next. It's gonna be an interesting episode because we spent four years in the world of Riverdale where the kids were young, they were in high school, they were solving mysteries and stuff. And now we're gonna see them older. They're gonna be adults and we have no idea what their life is gonna be like. So I can't wait to see what happens next on the show of Riverdale. Comment your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this episode? What do you think is gonna happen in the next one? And what do you think is gonna happen for the rest of the season? Comment your thoughts down below. What are your theories, thoughts, predictions, and everything else? Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Riverdale content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys wanna donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.